question one is asking us to compute a mean in which we have to round our answer to the nearest cent, meaning the nearest penny or the nearest hundredths position. So let's use our calculator to enter the values because to compute a mean here for a sample, we need to add the data and divide by the sample size. So let's enter the data to add. 261.12 plus 120.52 plus 186.23 plus 298.97 plus 171.55 plus 263.96 this is my numerator. This is the sum of my data values. I now have to divide this answer by the number 6 since there are 6 data values. The answer is $217.058333. If we round to the nearest cent or the nearest penny, the 5 ends in the hundredths position we look at the digit to the right, which means we have to add 1 to the 5. So the answer is Question three. <clears throat> Question three is asking us to determine a median given a list of data. First values 10, 19, 36, 46, 70, 73, and 78. So I'm first going to need to sort my data and it looks like they were very nice to us and that our data is already sorted from smallest to largest 10, 19, 36, 46, 70, 73, 78 we were lucky to find the median cancel the smallest largest pairs and we're left with the value of 46 so that the median is 46 Problem five, they would like the mode for a list of data. The values are 98, 71, 32, 71, 29, and 98. Now, the mode is the most popular data value. What we see here is that a 98 is listed twice, <clears throat> 71 is listed twice, the 32 and the 29 are only listed once each. So the most popular data value here, there's two of them, meaning that my data set here is bimodal. The mode 
is 71 and 98. Problem 7 is another example where I have to determine the mode. So here's what I'm going to do. When I run across a data value, since there's many data values here, I'm going to have to keep track of it. Let me do it this way. 40.9 shows up once. 42.1 shows up once. 41.1 shows up once. 42.4 shows up once. 41.0 shows up once. There's another 41.0. There's a 42.1. 44.6. That's the first time we've seen it. And then there's a 42.7 that shows up once. A 42.4 we already had listed. A 40.9 we already had listed. A 44.6 we already had listed. 42.4 was listed. 42.5 that's the first time that value showed up. 42.1 was already listed. 40.9, do we have that? Yes, we do. Another 40.9 is there. 41.1, that was already listed. 42.6, it looks like we don't have a 42.6. That is the first time we see it. And finally, a 40.9. Here we go. So, the 40.9 showed up five times, and that is the data value that showed up the most here, so it is the most popular. Meaning that the mode here, okay, if we focus on this, is 40.9. Question 9 is to determine the mid-range. Now, the mid-range of a data set is the smallest value plus the largest divided by 2. So if I look at the list of data, a data value of 169 here is the largest. The smallest data value so far looks to be 59. Nope. Correction. 55. Now, <coughs> taking the smallest and adding it with the largest is the same as adding the largest with the smallest. In other words, I add the values and divide by 2 using our calculator we see we get 169 plus 55 is 224 divided by 2 for a value of 112 The mid range of the data set is 112. Question 11 wants us to determine the mean speed given a frequency table where our data is organized in bins. So, if we're going to compute a mean, recall that 
we need to sum the frequency times the midpoint divided by the sample size, where the sample size is the sum of the frequencies. Take a look at this table in Excel. I'm going to have to create a midpoint column and the midpoint of the first bin I find by 30 plus 39 divided by 2. So let's see 30 plus 39 divided by 2. That's going to be 69 divided by 2. is 34.5. This is the first midpoint. Now notice that the bin width is 10, so I can compute corresponding midpoints simply adding 10 to these values here. These are my midpoint values. I now need a frequency times a midpoint column. So I'm going to take every entry in column C and multiply it with every entry in column D. using the autofill feature, I determine my other values. Now, if I'm going to compute the mean, I need to sum the frequency times the midpoint column, which is 5,630. Don't forget, I need to also know the sample size, which is the sum of the frequencies. There are a hundred values here in this frequency table. This is the information that I need. So 5,630 divided by a hundred is 56.3. This is the mean.